young people are less easily propagandized than their older counterparts. This is because for propaganda to be effective, propagandized population have to access strong emotions such as fear and be well socialized to provide peer pressure. Components that make propaganda so effective also make propagandizing young people so much harder due to the fact that young people are not usually emotionally mature enough to feel strong emotions and are socialized in a way that does not usually allow for strong friendships that influence their behavior in the long term. Children and young people are always the tip of the spear against tyranny. So in this case, we should encourage children to get politically active in effective ways instead of just quietly protesting by socializing. If I was going to risk breaking lockdown rules and imprisonment to meet friends, I would not do so in broad daylight or in an easily viewable place. Secondly, as I would be risking prosecution for socialising, I would consider some form of civil disobedience in the similar lines of Extinction Rebellion protesters and Black Lives Matter, and in less recent times, the animal rights protesters of the 1960s. However, I would not recommend this, seen as, on the Isle of Man, there is an election in September. I would suggest that anybody and everybody who is in any way sceptical of lockdown voices such an opinion to their MHK and considers running for office, provided that there is not already a lockdown sceptic in such office or is running for that office to avoid splitting the vote. If you are thinking to yourself that you are not suitable to run for office, you should think to yourself, if not me, then who? Because if you're encouraging someone and you know someone who is running for office in your constituency, that is fine. But if you don't, then you really should consider running for office. Because if you don't say something in September, vaccine passports will most likely be coming.